Hello everyone, it's Shannon here with Hero Arts. In today's video, we are going to create this sweet Christmas card with the October 2022 My Monthly Hero Kit. In this video, I will demonstrate no line coloring, but with a twist, no line coloring with solid stamped images. We're going to start our card out with this large clear stamp set included in the October My Monthly Hero Kit. I'm going to grab this little image here. You may notice that all of the images in this set are solid. So you can do this no line coloring technique to any of the images, but we're just gonna do this little one here. I'm gonna start by stamping an A2 top folding white card base with this little image in mist, a light blue car, uh, color ink. Uh, I wanna keep it light because I'm gonna color over it. Now I'm going to create a quick mask because I have my image in my Misty already. I've grabbed a full adhesive post-it note. I'm just gonna ink up the stamp in a black dye ink, stamp it, and then I'll set that aside. I will cut that down later. We're not gonna move on to actually Copic coloring our images. I'm gonna start by coloring the trees. I have a green here. This is my light green. It is YG67. As you can see, I'm going to Copic color my images. You could, of, cor of course, do water coloring if you prefer. You just wanna make sure you stamp your image onto watercolor paper as opposed to uh, cardstock, which is what I have here. So I first colored all the trees with that base green. Now I'm gonna grab a darker green, which is G99, and just color in some details. Basically, I'm doing little squiggly kind of horizontal lines in these trees kind of randomly to add that look of the boughs of a pine tree. Once I finish that, I'm going to move on to the other half of the trees. Exactly the same process, started with that light green, which was YG67, and then went to G99 to color in those details. Now we're gonna move on to these candy canes, and I'm going to color all the blue stripes with this red R17, and I apologize, I realize my hand is kind of in the way, but I just simply colored the blue stripes red. Now I'm adding a darker red to the sides of each one of my red stripes, just to give this candy cane that illusion of roundness with that little shadow on the sides. Now that I finished the candy canes, I'm going to move on to the house. Starting with a light brown here, and I'm going to color everything except for the roof and the windows, and there's some details like an awning and like just like wood details on the house. I'm going to avoid those, but color everything else brown with this light brown. Now that I finished with this light brown, I'm going to grab a darker brown and start to add the look of kind of like a log cabin. So I'm drawing these lines along, following the angles of the house to make it look like it's a log cabin. Now I'll quickly color the windows with a yellow and then I'm going to grab a darker yellow and just color the bottom half of the window so they have this nice little gradation. And then I'm gonna move on to coloring this awning over this round window, starting with uh, y or R17, which is a my light red that I use for the candy canes, and then move on to my dark red, which is R59, and just add a little shadow. And I also colored a little details on the side of the house here, just the basically like red circles. I just colored them. Now we're gonna move on to this detail on the house again using my red combo R17 and then R59 for the shadow. Then we're gonna grab a pink. This is R20. We're gonna color the door and that little area above that red section on the front of the house and then use R22 as R dark to create a little gradation. Then I have a light green here, just add coloring again, some of those little circles on the house and then used the using a dark green here to just kind of add a little shadow to those green circles so they look like they're a little bit more rounded. And now we're gonna move, basically move on to the roof. I'm just touching up any areas that I missed to start with the roof and actually all the snow, I'm gonna use B32 and just color in right now the blue outline on those snow, um, snowy areas on the roof. And then I'm gonna grab a lighter blue, which is BG10, and just kind of blend it out to the white of the paper. And that's gonna give me a nice gradation over the, the snowy roof and those little snow drifts um, right in front of the house and the treats. And that will actually complete our Copic coloring, pretty simple. So now we're gonna move on to ink blending our background. I've trimmed down my mask. I just kind of fussy, fussy cut the edges. I actually encourage you to cut into the black a little bit because then you'll ink blend a little bit onto the your Copic colored areas, but that's okay. That will be more seamless so you won't have any white outlines. I then grabbed a piece of uh, masking tape and just kind of taped off along the horizon line. So the, the um, 
we have a ending point for our sky. And I'm going to first ink blend with a uh, dusty blue and just do a light ink blend around the the house and the trees and to the horizon line. Then I'm moving on to a darker shade. This ink is um, Stonewash. Just gonna ink blend very quickly here and create a nice gradation. And then we'll move on to one more color, Nautical, and ink blend the upper um, third, the last little bit here. Once we get that Nautical down, I'll then actually go back through my colors and just kind of fine tune my blend here. So I'm now moving on to back to Stonewash, then Dusty Blue, and that will actually finish my beautiful little gradation. So now I'll remove my mask and my uh, masking tape, and now we'll be ready to um, actually do a little bit of more Copic coloring. I'm going to color with this BG10 right along the horizon line, just to kind of blend the no line coloring with the rest of my horizon line. Now we're gonna grab a sentiment here. Now I did make sure that this pan this card front is completely dry because I'm gonna do some heat embossing. So I, I um, heat set the ink blended section real quick. Then I put down some antiseptic powder, stamped my sentiment in embossing watermark ink, and now I'm going to emboss it with some Hero Arts silver embossing powder. Just pour it over and then I'll heat set with my heat tool. Again, pretty simple. This actually turns out to be a single layer card, so it's gonna mail beautifully. Now that we have that sentiment stamped, I'm gonna put my mask back on, including, and also that masking tape back on my, um, my house and my horizon line because we're gonna actually stamp some snow in the sky. So I'm gonna grab this awesome background cling stamp that's included in the kit, place it over, my scene and then I'm going to ink it up with unicorn pigment ink. Just ink up that beautiful kind of snowy background, stamp it once and then I'll ink it up and stamp it a second time just to make it a little bit more prominent. And then I can remove my masks and kind of actually do a little cleanup on the sentiment. I'll just take my finger and just kind of clean up any of that pigment ink that might be on it. And that will complete that background. Now we're gonna move on to doing a little bit more ink blending. I wanna ink blend on the lower portion of basically the snowy ground. So I've grabbed Mist again, the same color we stamped our scene in in the very beginning. Just ink blend the very bottom edge with that light blue, and that will actually complete our snow. And once I finish ink blending that bottom portion of the snow. I'm now going to do one final detail. Detail. I'm going to take a white gel pen here and just add the, uh, just color these pine trees with a little bit of the gel pen with these, just making horizontal lines, just kind of similar to how I did the details with the Copic markers earlier uh, to make it look like the trees have snow on the branches. And once I finish that, my card is done and I'll hold it up to the um, camera so you can get a good look. I really love how this little scene turned out. I think it's so peaceful and serene and definitely has this really magical Christmas feel to it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you need questions about the products I used, please check out the links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.